Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this resin coating for my canvas. So if you'd like to see how I created it, please stay tuned. So to begin, you're going to want to grab your art piece. I'm using a round canvas, 30 centimeters in diameter, and you're going to sellotape all the way around the back of the canvas so that it doesn't make drip marks. And the resin I'll be using today is this NYX Pro resin. It comes in two bottles, A and B. So the first one is a resin, the second one is the hardener, and we're going to be using a one to one ratio. I just got mine off Amazon and it comes in a whole set, like a beginner's set. So I'll link it in the description box below. Um, it also comes with a spatula and you're gonna need a heat gun as well to get rid of the bubbles. So I've just got mine from Amazon as well. So depending on the size of your canvas, um, you will need about 100 milliliters. So I'll be using 100 milliliters of the resin and then I'll use 100 milliliters of the hardener. And then you just want to mix everything together using your spatula for about a good three to five minutes. And your resin should look something like this. It's a bit cloudy with a few bubbles inside, but that's perfectly normal. And also at this point, I forgot to mention that you need to wear gloves for this and be in a room that is well ventilated, so preferably with the windows open because it can be um, quite harmful if you breathe it in too much. And once everything is nicely mixed together, what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but what I prefer doing is getting some boiling water and putting my entire um, container into it to, to make the resin a bit more runny and to get rid of some of the small bubbles. And please be careful not to get the water into the resin because that will just boil it and what you want to do is just leave it for about five minutes while you prepare your canvas and I'll show you what it looks like um, once it has gone a bit warm. It will completely change in its um, like viscosity. I just find it will be more easier to work with as well. And as you can see, the bubbles are getting smaller and the bigger bubbles are popping. So you just want to leave that in for about another five minutes. So I've just put that to the side and I'm going to prepare my canvas now. So you just want to get something to put your canvas on top of so that the resin can run off it. Um, I'm just using ice cube trays for that. And then you just want to make sure your canvas is level and stable so that you get a good even coating. And I'm happy with this so I'm going to go ahead and get my resin. This is what the resin mixture looks like after being in hot water for about 5 to 10 minutes. It's really nice and there are very few bubbles and it's not cloudy anymore. So you're just going to go ahead and pour that straight onto the canvas. And as you can see, um, the colors already look very vivid and bright and beautiful once the coating goes on. And once you have all your resin on your canvas, you just want to tilt it so that it can go towards the edges as well and go down the edges. That's one of the important parts. You need to make sure it goes down the edge and make sure that um, it covers the canvas evenly. Once 
because our resin is quite warm it's very easy to just move it about and stuff so I don't really need to use my spatula anymore. And the next thing you're going to do is get your heat gun and just blast the resin um, for a few seconds um, just to get rid of some of the tiny bubbles. And once all the bubbles have gone, you're just going to let your canvas sit for about 24 to 48 hours to let the resin completely cure. And I'm just going to leave it as it is like this on my table and just close the door to my art room and make sure nobody goes in. And this is the finished piece guys. So this is after one day of drying. It looks absolutely amazing and I'm so happy with it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope this video helped you in some ways. I hope you will try this and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments in the comment section below as to what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you all again in my next video. Goodbye.